What is up guys, Foilix here again bringing you another Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. Today's gameplay is going to be um, a bit long, it's not live, but I'm going to be doing a little kind of video helping you guys on how to hold off strike zone on normal uh, team deathmatch, core or hardcore. Today I'm playing hardcore team deathmatch, it's going to be a lot, uh, you know, a lot more faster, uh, you know, quick reactions or so or anything. But uh, anyway, getting into the video, um, I ended up going 28 to 3 in this game, and at the end of the game, I actually uh, was accused by all the players of hacking or... Uh, glitching or you know just cheating in the game so I ended up uh, filing loads of reports against my account uh, luckily I haven't been banned or so or anything but I'm going to show you how I uh, hold this off so as you can see here I'm holding off this back bit section here that's really what you mainly want to do on strikers hold the section here now what I do is I place the IMS there the reason why I place the IMS there is because um, there's only two ways to get uh, get into this section uh, from that angle now if they come from that door on the right or the door on the left, they're both going to get hit by the actual IMS and that's going to either kill them or make them weak and then if it makes them weak, you can just go around the corner and um, pick them off. Now around here, what you want to do is you want to stay uh, prone or stay crouched and just keep your eye on this section here. What I normally do is I normally place an IED or that C4 um, perk, that C4 equipment over there so that if someone does go around there, it does take them out. If not, you know, get a one shot or so. As you can see, I'm holding off all the doors here because I'm not too sure where they're coming from. So. I think I get a kill roughly around here. I think it comes from the right hand side or so. Let's double check. Yep, there's it. Yep. So, yeah, that's great there. Yeah. So, as you can see, I'm just holding off the section here, going left and right. I'm not staying in one place for too long because I don't want to make the gameplay boring for you guys. But I'm running, I'm running around and I'm pretty much just, you know, scouting the area, seeing what's going on. So, I think a guy comes around here now, if anything. Well, so, what I'm primarily doing is I'm keeping an eye on this section around here. Reason being because pretty much uh, the left and the right side over there are pretty much covered you know, from my eye mess. So, that allows me to be confident and just look uh, to the right side and just, you know, keep them coming. Uh, keep picking them off as they're coming one by one. As you can see, I've still got my IMS running up or so. Now, if you guys are in uh, if you guys are interested in my class, I'm going to put the class specs uh, on the slide on the screen now. Now, I like using the MTAR. It's one of my best. This is one of my best classes in Call of Duty Ghost. Reason being because it is very, very lightweight, compact, and it's very, very accurate when when used with the silencer and the red dot. Now, the perks I'm using are the lightweight perks, where I can move faster, sprint faster, aim faster, and I've got marathon as well, so I can you know, do unlimited sprint. And the reason why I use those perks is because in this game it's very, very fast paced. So, while I do a lot of running, I like normally I like running around the map and um, taking out people. Quick by surprise, so they haven't got really time to turn around. I play on, I think, 10 sensitivity. I'm playing on the PC, and I play on 10 sensitivity, so that allows me to, you know, take people out very, very quickly. So, yeah, I'd highly recommend that class. Please do copy this fix if you want, but I'd highly recommend it in a hardcore game or just small maps like this. So as you can see, I've got the Gryfo drone here. As you can see, it's very, very similar to the Dragonfly in Black Ops 1, but, well, no, in Black Ops 2, but as you can see, it's not, um, you know, the machine gun, it's actually like a grenade launcher, which, in my opinion, is very, very good actually because. It takes me out by surprise and then I've already got time to avoid it or so as you can see I took out the guy there. So I actually think I ended up dying around here, so that's one of the deaths that um could have been avoided if my teammates were, you know, defending me or there more teammates around my area when I was down. But yeah, I ended up uh, dying here. But what I did here is when I uh, literally died I ended up running straight back to that section because that's the best way to hold off because it's not quite the same around this section here or so. So I ran all the way back very, very quickly or so. Now, loads of people tell me that the IED is overused and it's annoying or so. Personally, in my opinion, it's equipment that they put in the game to use uh, in the right way. And, uh, oh, see, that's another really silly kill there, yeah, maybe. I wasn't quite sure. But, yeah, I mean, people say it's overused, it's quite overpowered or so, and it's annoying. In my opinion, I like it. I mean, I love it. It really does help me out in, in terms of this class and this gameplay. Um, it's very, very simple. It, it's kind of... It, it, that's one less problem to think about, as you can see up on my eye, uh, eye back there. But it's one less problem to think about, because if you can place the IED... One, uh, on one of the sides or so, then it gives you enough space, like the ID to just hold off one side or so, which is very, very good, so. Uh, there you go. So I put the ID there, reason being because if they come from the right or left side of that, that crate in the middle, they're going to get hit mark or I'm going to get hit mark or so, just like you saw them. Oh. That was one very, very silly. Uh, move I did there. As I might ID there, I don't know why I went out. I just got a bit bored of staying here or so. Or anything. As you saw, then the ID came from the right side door over left, and it still took him out because the blast in the ID is very, very powerful and strong. So I go around here, I take out two guys, I think. Yep, one, two. Good job. 
Here you go, and I, and I end up finishing on 28 to 3 with two assists. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, if you did enjoy that uh, that kind of commentary uh, video and also the gameplay, please do feel free to give it a like and a comment. Um, it was uh, actually quite a lot of fun making this kind of tips video. If you guys do uh, enjoy these videos, I'll try and make more for more maps in the future. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a comment, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. No. Hawker, you know. Boy, let's cheat Hardcore team deathmatch.